Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited for today's video. I got the Adeline X Tarte palette and I am so excited. I just want to dig into it. I got it yesterday and um, I haven't, you know, touched any of the colors or anything like that yet. And I just, I'm very impatient and I want to. Got the box here and everything like that. It is so cute. It's like, uh, and like, and the, sorry, ring lights in the way. But like, I don't know, it's just so cute. I love their packaging. And it's in here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's a lot of tissue paper. Like, 10 out of 10 for packaging. Also, 10 out of 10 for her packaging. Oh my god, guys, here it is. It is so cute. Oh my god, just, just, look, just look at that. Just... Just, just look at that. Look how cute she is. Just, just look. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so cute. Same on the back. I like the little gold detailing. Um, with my ring light, it doesn't really look gold. Can we tell that it's gold now? This is super cute. Just that's even super cute. Like what? It smells good. Here are all the shades.
so it is an iron cheek palette. I'm getting mirror dirty at the moment. Wow. I'm going to be creating a look on it with my eyes today, hence why I don't have any eye makeup on. And I'm also going to be using the highlight. Um, I'm not a huge fan of blush. I'll give it a go. But generally, I don't use blush because I naturally have rosy cheeks, so I like to conceal that and not have blushy cheeks all the time. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go. I am going to be taking a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to be dipping into Adel Angels. And I'm just going to be putting this pretty much all over, kind of setting my concealer and everything, and just putting a base down for everything to blend onto. Adel Angels is literally like my skin color, so that's pretty funny. But I can feel it and it feels really buttery and soft and lovely. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the same brush and I'm going to be going into Mama Morn. And I'm just going to put it on one side of the brush, you can see, it's on this side. And I'm going to flip the brush upside down so the colour is up here and I'm going to put it right in my crease. my transition shape. Just gonna do the same thing on the other side. No product on this side, product on this side. And then I'm going to be taking a Morphe M506, it was upside down, I don't know what I was trying to do there. And I'm going to be taking the shade Contour and just lightly putting it on the very tip of the brush and lightly deepening up the crease a little bit more, you know, you know. Like so, and then just going to be doing the same on the other side. not get over how beautifully formulated these shadows are and how well they blend. Adeline, well done. You did so well. I'm so proud of you. Okay, and then to deepen up the crease even just that little bit further, I'm going to be taking it beep up. What I did was I got the M506 brush and I kind of like packed it on where I wanted it and then I went back in with the M433 brush and I just kind of blended it all together. Okay, off camera what I did was I finished up the two eyes. This one's a bit patchy, not because of the shadows, because of my actual eye. I got some dry patches along here as you can definitely tell and some shadows cling to them. I got the same thing here and here but that's just my eyes. That's nothing Adeline could have fixed, so that's on me. Um, and then I got a Morphe M456 brush and I dipped into Girl Supporting Girls. I kind of blended it in the front um, because 
I didn't realize I didn't use that shade and I was like, um, I can't not use Girl Supporting Girls. So I just blended it in the front and I'll do the same on the other eye. the yellow a little bit more. I've got a damp M124 brush and I'm going to be dipping into Law of Attraction which is this gold shade and I'm going to be popping this on my lid. So that is what Law of Attraction looks like on my lids and then I'm going to be taking a damp M431 brush and I'm going to be taking Beautiful Magical Wonderful and just putting it right there. So that's what that looks like underneath my eyes on my lower lash line and then I'm going to also be taking Red Eye Flight, which is that one there, and I'm actually going to be putting it in my waterline as eyeliner. Okay, so that's the difference. This eye has the eyeliner and this one doesn't. So you can see this is very white and then this is very shimmery burgundy red. Just like so. Now with my finger, I'm going to be taking Promise Ring. Oofed. And I'm going to be putting that on my brow bone. So that's the eye look done. I'll put mascara on once I've finished my face makeup. I have never applied blush in my life because I don't like the way blush looks on me. So this is going to be a bit scary for me. But I'm going to be taking the E4 blush brush from Morphe. And I'm going to be taking I Feel Beautiful. And just one tap because I'm very scared right now. <laughs> okay. because I actually have no glue. Alright. So 
there's a lot of firsts today. Adeline has definitely just changed my new go-to highlight. And I think she's also kind of changed my opinion about blush. It doesn't look that bad when you have a full face on. Obviously, I don't like it because I have naturally rosy cheeks when I have nothing on and just red cheeks. It's not, you know, it's just, it just ain't it. But when you have a full face on, it actually doesn't look that bad. Wow. Adeline, you've literally changed my whole makeup game. Okay, now I'm applying too much. And people usually like apply it on their nose and stuff too. Which I don't really get, but... Oh, that looks cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> this is one emotional roller coaster of a makeup look. Okay, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And doing my mascara. So now is probably the time to acknowledge the fact that I don't have very good lashes, as we can see. I don't really have, um, you know, a strong lash game when it comes to natural lashes, but I also don't own any falsies, and even if I did, I don't know how to apply them. So this is going to have to do, bear with me. Um, this is what I go through every day, just not having great natural eyelashes, so... You can put up with it too for freaking however long this video is, half an hour, whatever. But like, can you tell I also like my hair? <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Um, okay, I just quickly did my lips off camera. It's this lip liquid lipstick from Wish. Okay, so that's everything for today's video. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this the whole time, probably. I'm sorry, that's not okay. Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I upload videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos, as well as following my socials to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you, and don't forget, everything's gonna be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro. Thank you.